Kids get an early look at what life will be like as they head back to the classroom tomorrow. Carol Magnet Middle School in Raleigh says it's ready for students to return, even as teachers wait for a vaccine. Okay, welcome to your class. Principal Elizabeth McWilliams welcoming students back to Carroll Middle School. It's the day before in person classes resume, and she wants everyone to see just what returning will look like during a pandemic and how to stay safe. This is just an exciting opportunity for all of us to be in the same space at the same time. Please make sure that students and parents say they are comfortable with the safety protocols. We always have to stay six feet apart, and we can't, we have to have our mask over our nose at all times. It seems like it's a smooth process to me, and I'm very, very excited. Excited about them getting back. When it comes to vaccinating staff against COVID, McWilliams says they are waiting on direction, but she supports the thought of the vaccine coming to them to alleviate a staffing challenge. I think that's a challenge, and I think that's something that principals and teachers are having to work through. If we were able to be vaccinated on campus, it would afford teachers the ability to maintain professionalism, you know, be able to be here for kids while also ensuring that their wellness and safety, you know, was a priority. So Kayla Ross can get what she's hoping for. Be able to have interaction with like my friends and other students and be able to like get more understanding of what we're doing. Mac Williams doesn't want empty classrooms to return, but COVID seems to have a mind of its own sometimes. We're anticipating that anything could happen at any time. And really it's made us much more prepared for any crisis situation. And so of course we are very optimistic that students will, will remain on campus. Uh, we, of course, are always planning for the unexpected. As we all are now, out of 100 faculty and staff at Carroll Middle, 10 have been approved to work from home. All have underlying health conditions or live with someone who does. McWilliams also thinks at this point there are enough substitutes to cover if needed.